Welcome to Vacuum Wars, and today I'm excited to be reviewing a really interesting cordless vacuum cleaner called the Loop Pure Cordless Vacuum. It's got a great story, and after putting it through a lot of tests over the last week, I have to say I think it may be the best all-around cordless vacuum I've tested. So, links in the description, and let's get started. The Loop Cordless Vacuum has been in development for five plus years. The two founders worked together at a major cordless vacuum manufacturer and set out to see if they could fix some of the problems they saw in the industry, namely performance and longevity. The idea was to build a cordless vacuum designed for long-term ownership, where all the major components would be easily replaceable, as well as a vacuum designed for useful or practical performance. I've been watching the development of the Loop for a while, like on their Kickstarter. In fact, although I don't usually accept free vacuums from companies to review these days. I made an exception for the loop since I agreed to do this review back in 2019. But as always, that won't affect this review in any way. I'll show you the good stuff as well as the not so good stuff. I think one of the reasons I like the loop so much is because it seems to have all the features that I want and recommend to people. But until now, I've never seen all those features on the same vacuum before. First, the general style of the loop is upright, not the stick configuration that has become so popular. There are a few other cordless vacuums out there that are upright, and I mention that fact every time I review one, because number one, it's much less tiring on your arm to vacuum with one of these upright style cordless vacuums, because there's almost no weight on your forearm compared to the stick style vacuums where you can be supporting four to six pounds on your arm, which is difficult to sustain for long periods. I also like the upright style better for the simple reason that it can stand up on its own, a quality you don't know you will miss until it's gone. Another very rare quality is the brush head design. It has two brush rollers, a soft roller made out of composite material with a soft inner core, and an interior brush with more or less standard bristles. This design accomplishes a number of things, one of which is that it gives the loop an incredible range of the size of debris it can pick up on both hard floors and carpet. Even vacuums that are relatively good at larger debris just can't do what the loop can do. On the other end of the spectrum, it does much better than average with super fine debris like dust, and even heavy fine debris like sand. This is a big deal if you know how rare it is for cordless vacuums to do this. So it's great to have an incredibly versatile head that you don't have to change out for different jobs. It just makes vacuuming easy in general, and it's something that you will notice right off the bat. This roller differs from the similar Shark Duo Clean Roller in a couple of ways. First is that the front roller is soft because of the composite material, which has a quality that allows it to be airtight. So it creates a really, really good seal on the floor which when combined with the so-called patented inlet design, it creates what Lupe calls a suction intensifier, which is a good lead-in to another reason this vacuum is really good, which is power. I test suction and airflow of cordless vacuums in various places on the vacuums and in various power settings. And for example, at the hose on high power, I found that there was really only a few cordless vacuums in the world that could come close to these numbers. What I found interesting is that Loop publishes their own suction and airflow test results online, which was an unsealed test measured at the cleaner head, so a very practical, real-world kind of test, something Loop calls, quote, useful suction. And as you can see, it's pretty amazing in terms of how it compares to other vacuums. You could really feel the suction with things like the crevice pickup test, where it did amazing. They also do their own version of this test in the promo material against a competitor to show off the airtight seal and the suction. But probably the most impressive test was the deep clean test, where I embed 100 grams of sand into medium pile carpet and weigh the dustbin before and after. Here, the loop scored 100% on high power, which is rare, especially for cordless vacuums not named Dyson, and almost unheard of for vacuums that can actually handle larger debris on hard floors. Usually it's a trade-off. Either it can handle large debris or it can deep clean carpets, but very rarely can it do both. It also scored really good on the deep clean test on both its medium and low power, which is not something that you see with other cordless vacuums. Usually there is a significant drop off from high to low power with this test, but not with the loop. This means that you can use the loop in low power or its medium power to save battery life and lose almost nothing in terms of performance on carpet, which is kind of a big deal and there really isn't anything like it that I know of. Speaking of the battery, another thing that I like is that the battery is removable and therefore easily replaceable. It comes with a two-year warranty, and in terms of battery life, Loop says that it will last 60 minutes on low power, 30 minutes on auto or medium power, and 15 minutes on high power. 
Not only are those great numbers when compared to other premium cordless vacuums, when you take into account how good it is on low power, it means that you can get 30 or 60 minutes of superior vacuuming performance. In fact, there isn't much of a reason to use the high power mode with the loop, except maybe for above floor cleaning. Speaking of above floor cleaning, it comes with two high quality attachments and the whole unit breaks down to a compact handheld unit for portable jobs like cars or just walking around the house getting hard to reach areas. It also has a hose for making above floor cleaning actually easy to do and much more precise. This is opposed to the stick style vacuum cleaners which makes above floor cleaning just kind of awkward. It also has a top tier filtration system with a HEPA filter, which Vacuum Wars viewers know I really care about. It passed our various filtration tests, which is something that only vacuums in a certain price range can do. Its handling was also very impressive. It has a well-built multi-point swivel with great action in tight spaces for both hard floors and carpet, and it has one of the largest bins in the industry at one liter. It can't all be good stuff though, so let's move on to the cons. One thing was that its hair wrap performance could use improvement. I tested it with seven inch human hair and about 34% of the hair was caught in the roller. And when I moved up to 14 inch hair, it was almost all caught in the roller, which on the one hand is typical for just about every vacuum out there, but I have seen premium cordless vacuums doing much better with hair wrap lately. One good thing is that because the loop was built with replaceable parts in mind, you can quickly remove both brushes, which makes it easier to get the hair off the rollers without scissors. Another con, at least for Americans, is that the loop is a smaller UK company. And while I'm sure they will expand and become more well known with a better distribution network, right now all the units and parts are shipped from the UK, so it takes longer to arrive. Their website does make it easy to purchase for Americans and it comes with a variety of country specific electric plugs so at least that's okay. The final negative thing is the price and it's definitely a premium vacuum but here again it is relative it's cheaper than its next closest competitor and in my opinion the build quality performance and just all around practicality of the loop makes it a breakthrough in the cordless vacuum industry and I hope it sets a new standard for cordless vacuum companies. You can order yours at the link below be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars before you leave and thanks for watching.